get to see. So yeah, yeah, yeah. it's more. It's not just a festival. I go yeah, yeah. I always go just to. It's good fun, isn't it? Yeah, I really like it's it. Nice yeah. up there. Yeah. Cool. Is it rolling? Just say. Uh, no. Rolling now. Cool. So this is Stephen Pape. This one's for Hot Corn. Uh, right, yeah, Joe, I'm going to begin. Uh, I mean, this feels like a job you just can't turn down. I mean, it's such a unique experience, I'm assuming, making this movie, and one that you'll probably never replicate, and many actors will never get to experience. But having said that, I mean, it seemed, it's, it felt like quite an undertaking. Were there any apprehensions initially to, to getting involved in something that would be quite intense like this was? No, I don't think so. Um, for me, one of the kind of criteria for choosing a role is... Uh, if it feels like a real challenge, then I can't say no to it. I think that's the way you grow as an actor um, and that's the way you really test your mettle. Um, so for this, I just saw it as a real opportunity and a real a real gift. And I just knew I had to just make sure I did the preparation for it and, and, and work on all the aspects of the character and the fighting and the, the accent and all that stuff before I got there because otherwise I would have been really up. Yeah. Creek. <laughs> yeah, because I mean, you, I mean, obviously there, there's always uh, directors and filmmakers always try and make film sets realistic for the actor. But in this instance, I mean, it felt quite striking. I mean, it looked hot and it looked sweaty and it looked claustrophobic. And I just imagine for you getting into the kind of headspace of the character must have been easier than than usual because it looked like you were really living through what what Billy had to actually live through. Yeah, that was credit to to Jean. We. Uh, it, everything was very authentic, you know, the, the blood, the sweat, the, the dirt on the floor, the, the, the everything is very is real. Um, the fights we shoot in very long takes, long sequences with no cuts. So, you know, we are genuinely having to hit each other, and we are genuinely very very tired. And I think that just adds a whole different energy to to the film and, the, and to those scenes specifically. Um, so yeah, I actually find it, as hard as it is, it's easier in, in, in a certain way. One technique as an actor is you have to be able to, if you're, if you're doing a film not like this, um, you have to be able to switch off. And, and, and I think you know if you're doing a film with green screen and you've got a tennis ball flying around, you have to pretend it's a dragon, that's another skill entirely. But for this one, um, everything is there and everything's real. It's just about reacting. So it was, yeah, it was a real, real joy. But was, did you ever feel quite nervous in, in real life? I mean, you're shooting alongside sort of, sort of ex-inmates and stuff, and obviously there's some scenes where there's, you're sort of surrounded by six or seven people, sometimes more, where they're all kind of pushing you and pulling at you. Mm. Were there ever moments in real life where you felt a little bit kind of intimidated? And do you think in some ways that helped enrich the kind of performance and infiltrate the character? Yeah, for sure, for sure. It, the, the, the film was largely improvised, and they were given licence to do whatever they wanted, um, and so was I, to an extent. Um, but we developed a sort of rapport, and it actually meant we could push the violence and push the the mockery and 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 and, and the, the, all the things they do to me. We could almost push it further because there was uh, there was a sense of trust. But certainly, you kind of don't know how far it's going to go. Um, and I just had to be very aware of where I was in the scene and, and uh, you know, it was kind of interesting because you, know, you don't want to be too vulnerable because then they will, really will you know, take the piss but the other side of it is you don't want to be too Mr Hardman because then they will abuse you in another way and, and, and it was just finding that fine line throughout the, uh, the course of the, uh, the filming. Because, I mean, the character is sort of fearless. I was wondering if that rubbed off on you in real life. And just generally speaking, in your career, do you find when you, you take on, you embody so many characters and take on so many performances, do you almost adopt certain traits and sensibilities of the characters that you, you sometimes play and kind of add it to your, to your real life demeanour? <laughs> so, interesting question. I mean, I think you take something from every job you do. Um, sometimes it might be the way you dress. I might, I'll, I'll take elements of kind of style or you know or haircuts and things like that um, but you learn something from from every character uh, if a character is really confident and can and, and can go into an environment and, and be super charming and all the rest of it then sometimes you that rubs off on you a bit um, I think uh, Billy's compassion and Billy's kind of empathy and, and uh, definitely rubbed off on me um, uh, and I suppose the physical element of the film was 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 something that I've taken on now and and, and can use. Is it quite cathartic as well being an actor? Because I guess you get to fulfil some emotions that we kind of suppress in real life. So, for example, in this sense, 
anger. You know, there are times when he just absolutely loses it and just mm. will punch and fight anyone within a kind of radius, a sort of small radius yeah. around him. But in real life, we can't act that way. But we all have those kind of emotions within us. So being an actor, do you get to fulfil some of the kind of emotions and some of the things that we can't actually really do in our real life? Can, I guess, is it, yeah, is it kind of cathartic in that? Yeah, I think so. I think, you know, in the modern day, we're, we're, we're quite... We're quite suppressed um, as as humans, and I, you know, as part of this particular job, but also, yeah, in the, in the nature of the business, is is you know you will have to explore those those emotions, um, and it is it is quite it is quite nice actually to be able to really let loose and do you know, do whatever you want and not feel like you have to hold back. Yeah, and just finally, I mean, it's, I've I've been fortunate enough to spend some time in Southeast Asia before, and I'm just wondering. Uh, if you because I mean Thailand is an amazing country with a wonderful culture, food, yeah. everything's great. Did you get the chance to experience much of that when you were shooting? Obviously, it felt like it was quite an intense shoot, but was there much space at all to actually go out and do a bit of travelling? Sadly not. Oh. Sadly not. I, I need to go to Thailand again and do it and do the more tourist version. But I was spent pretty much the whole time I was there in a prison or you know in a boxing gym, um, and and that's just how it was. Uh, and I wouldn't change it. But yeah, it'd be nice to go back there and see a beach. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, Professor. Much awesome. appreciated. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, but I might see you on the third. <laughs>